Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Scott Randolph with Sound Seal, the Architectural Division. This webinar, we're going to talk about opportunities with home theaters. I believe, and I've heard the rumors that people are staying home lately and uh, they've been spending more money on their homes. So maybe it's a good opportunity to talk about this. I'm going to start just, I'm just going to go through some jobs that we've done. Uh, go through the details of how we did it, and um, uh, hopefully you'll learn something. All right, of course, we're talking about fabric wrap panels. As you can see, uh, I'm on the walls here. In this case, it's a horizontal orientation with a nice bevel edge, making the segmentation in the panel. Every, uh, most home theaters that I've been involved with, we're coordinating with millwork guys. You can see we have uh, cuts to do around the millwork and uh, speaker enclosures and so on. I'll go over all that stuff. There's a nice, uh, very dark fabric, very black uh, room, nice lighting. It's a beautiful looking job. And there's another view of the same job. In this case, this job came to us through an AV contractor. This was uh, you know, part of their package in the home. Their package would be <clears throat> home audio, security systems, uh, home uh, automation, that kind of stuff. All right, so it's a nice looking room. You can see the front, there's your screen. Underneath the screen, and I'm going to point this out several times, underneath the screen are all speakers. And we cut those through the back of the panel so you don't see it. So this room, all the speakers, all the audio equipment is hidden. You walk in the room, you just hear the sound. Now you have a lot of speaking audio equipment. There's a lot of money spent on these things, only to be um, used in a room that doesn't sound very good. <clears throat> so if we have anything to do with that, <clears throat> excuse me, we put our panels on the walls. And we put it, you know, remember this is somebody's home. And uh, most home theaters, you're talking about upscale homes. So this is another one through another AV designer. As you see, we had to coordinate with light fixtures here. Horizontal seams again. You have speakers behind panels. Each one of these worked around a shelving unit. Comes out beautiful. And the room sounds great when you're done. All right. So, again, this is another view of the same job. We have shelving working around the corners, custom fits. Again, a black front. It was just typical in theaters. Speakers below. There are speakers running below this. And right here, can't see it, but that's an access door to the equipment room. Typically, we're leaving the ceiling reflective, as we did here. There are some exceptions, and I'll show you those. Here's more of a vertical orientation. These panels are sitting in a wood frame rather than encased in the uh, in the millwork. Again, you can see some of the custom cuts around the millwork. And there's an interesting aspect to this job I'll show you in a minute. This is another view of the same job. You can see these are, this is in, and typically these rooms are in people's basements. So this is the door to the equipment room over here. And this is back to the um, mechanical stuff, air conditioners, water softeners, and so on. So we these are panels that are removable so they can open the door and access behind there. All these little tricks. This is a beautiful room we did. Coordinated with the mill worker on this one. Every one of these jobs uh, seems to be requiring that you can see these archways 
we gave him the right dimensions and the panel slid up behind the archway. Uh, it makes for a nice clean look and these arches are difficult for us to uh, cut and make it perfect. So that's the best way to handle that. Also the ceiling, we did the same thing. On this ceiling, we left a space, they gave us a frame and the panel slid up in the frame. That's another view of the same room. In this case, we had a designer involved where they picked the colors and the paint to match, etc. It's a blurry picture of a room, of a room that we did. Uh, but again, this is a horizontal orientation. But to, to note here is this reveal between the panels. We put a very thin panel there of that color. We actually pre-manufactured those columns out of acoustic panels. That's you know basically three panels put together to make a column. This way they can run their uh, they can run their cabling behind there, and they have a, uh, what they call a side filled speaker behind those. So uh, again, we're hiding the audio, making a nice looking room. In this particular theater, you can't see it, but I remember this ceiling was black panels. All right, here's more of a simpler design, call it low budget. Basically you have, uh, you know, free floating panels, coordinating with the light fixtures and so on. Typically, there, when we do a home theater, it's more of a, call it a high-end home. And so with that comes designers and architects specifying things. So um, often we have to go find some fabric and here's one of them. This is some kind of print, very expensive fabric. Now, <clears throat> we usually have to get this approved by the factory. Make sure that it's compatible with the processes of us um, laminating and um, that it won't say sag or, or uh, uh, absorb water. So we're talking about polyester blends, wools and cottons, probably not acceptable. It also has to breathe. Fabric has to breathe so the fiberglass behind it can do its job absorbing the sound doesn't breathe it's just going to reflect that sound easy test is just hold it up to your mouth and blow through it if you can blow air through it then the sound will, will pass through and get absorbed there's the other side of this room uh, something we did I, I don't know if I'll ever want to do it again but if you look at that ceiling those are black acoustic panels with uh, fiber optic lights poked through it with uh, Constellations. Uh, you can see uh, is Orion's belt, Big Dipper. Uh, anyway, uh, it was it. It's beautiful, and uh, a lot of work. If you do this, then definitely charge accordingly. <laughs> Here's another custom job with uh, a printed fabric. This happened to be cut around all this millwork. This was um, templated, as I remember. All right, there's a larger size panels here. You know, I guess a vertical orientation. You can see this one was fit in a wood frame, and they put a piece of trim on top of it. This is probably the most common method for installing home theater panels yeah, for me. And it's a blurry picture of the next, of the back view of the same room. All right, so here's a room with a larger scale to it. You'll see that in the next photograph. We had some height to work with. Cut in reveals all around the panels. And I think what you're seeing over here to the left is a um, 
is a cabinet that we face those doors to match the rest of the design. It's a nice looking theater. All right, again, that typical design where the panel is nesting in the millwork with a wood cap on top. This is this room has a nice scale to it, a good size room. There's the front view. You, you see that little subwoofer on the floor, but all the other speakers are again hidden behind the panels. So we have a little, a few custom cuts to do, but that's fairly typical with home theaters. Haven't done this a lot, but I think it might be a good idea to, to introduce this um, here in a theater. Here in somebody's home, they can take a piece of artwork, they can have it printed on fabric, the fabric is stretched on a panel, and that panel is not only absorbing sound, but um, making the room, I don't know, brighter? <laughs> there you go. Right now, we are looking at a room. This is probably what you're going to see before you treat it. You can see it's a, this is a home theater built. They, build little platforms for the uh, chairs so everybody can see over everybody's head. And uh, you can see the in-wall cutouts for speakers. And very often those are hidden behind the panels. This theater, I think we're just gonna go with the applique type panels on the spaces. This is, uh, there will be no mill work to fit around on this one. It's just a different view of the in-wall cutout. And this is what we put on the walls. These are S2000 acoustic panels. What you see here is the standard Guilford fabric. It looks like 298 medium gray. But um, I can't remember ever using that uh, Guilford fabric in a home theater. Usually they're going to go with a, um, a poly suede, faux suede, or the designer is going to bring in a, a custom fabric. It's a spec sheet for the acoustical panels. Uh, just some facts about the panels. We have uh, an inch thick typically is what we use in these rooms. Sometimes when the millwork doesn't give you enough space, you have to go in there with a half inch. But there's your acoustical ratings. Um, if, you're, if you're feeling that a room is going to be too bassy and you need more uh, absorption, then we can go with the two inch, gets a full 1.05 NRC. These are going to get fastened, either glued in place, or we use these roto fast anchors. You see the different edge conditions. The square will work in with the uh, millwork, a miter, and bevel for a raised panel look, uh, and the radius also, which is, again, the radius, don't use much of that, but it's a, it's a possibility. Here's an interesting panel to keep in mind. This has a loaded vinyl, mass loaded vinyl barrier in the center of it. So if there is concern with uh, noise disturbing the rest of the house or the neighbors, you can recommend a panel with a barrier, a noise barrier. I think uh, one pound loaded vinyl gives you like a 26 STC uh, barrier performance. So it'll knock down the sound that's leaving the room. And sometimes that that barrier gives you a little bit lower frequency absorption. Now, you can always recommend this in the construction of the room. It's a blurry slide, but basically loaded vinyl. Uh, Sound Seal sells it as B10NR, it's a noise barrier. Basically, you can put this up between the studs before you finish the drywall. And that gives you, again, down here, an additional 26 decibel reduction. Sorry for the blurry slide. There are. Um, your opportunities come, as I said before, from uh, 
AV contractors, you get a relationship with them, and they just plug you into these jobs. The other is uh, builders. You, uh, again, you find builders who build these custom homes, high-end custom homes, and uh, it's happening more and more often that they're putting a home theater in there. Um, it's it's rare that we're getting work from designers and architects, but you know, just to let them know that when they're designing a house, they have that option, and uh, they have those design possibilities as we've seen. All right, here's uh, contact information for you. You got phone numbers and emails. I'm going to leave this up for a minute. Uh, feel free to give me a call or email me if you have questions. And uh, thanks for hanging out this afternoon.